So I'm going to give you a quick tutorial uh, starting the WIPO and Web2D simulator. So I have the WIPO program here, which will use the wall follow program to control the web simulator. So first, okay, take, I'm gonna show you the IoT controller configuration. You need to set to the web socket server. Okay. And then, so the, you don't need the IP address. You just need the port and uh, A124. So then I'm going to set the touch sensor, okay. I put the front as a touch sensor. So the touch sensor will really the partner with uh, controller zero and the port number I use zero. The next I'm going to have the distance sensor on the right, okay. So you can see partner with control, controller zero and um, the sensor portal is two, okay. I also put comments here from touch sensor port zero and uh, right distance sensor port two. That's all you need to set. Now I'm going to start run the web 2D simulator. So now the web 2D simulator is running. And so now I need to go down here to set up the sensor. The first one, I need a touch sensor and uh, the port number is zero, right? In the front. And then the ultrasonic sensor, I set the number two. So this number zero and two has to match with what you have selected in the uh, VIPO, okay? So now you need to click add update. So now the shoe is updated. So now you go back to the VIPO and I'm going to start the program now. I click. So now the VIPO program is running. Now I need to go back to the web page to the VIPO simulator. I need to click. Here I have localhost and I'm going to connect to ASU WIPO web socket. I click. So you can show yes, connect, okay. So now it's connected, okay. So the robot is still not moving. I need to go back to the, to the WIPO program. Okay, so basically what I need to do is, okay, I make this window small. You need to keep this window on the top, okay? So you can see my code here, I have select the key press B. When I press B, so I'm going to basically go into reset the state. I'm going to move forward, okay? So this, the key is you need to click on this window, keep this on top, then you press B. So now you will see the robot start to move, okay? So since I use a touch sensor, I, when I touch the wall, I, you can see I go backwards a little bit so that the robot will be able to turn. If the robot touch the wall, it cannot turn. Okay, so that is a part you, you um, a few detail you need to take care of, all right? That's it for a quick tutorial to get started.